Hi, it's Katrina. From fish sucking in their prey to enormous, terrifying birds, here are 10 bizarre animals that actually exist. Number 10. Bowfin Fish The bowfin fish is a North American freshwater fish that goes by many names. But whether you call it a dogfish, cottonfish, swamp bass, beaverfish, grindle, cypress trout, or something else, it doesn't make the creature any less strange. Its common name refers to the elongated dorsal fin, and its scientific name translates to bald or smooth fish, in reference to the creature's scaleless head. Perhaps the weirdest characteristic of this fish is its feeding method. This carnivorous species is opportunistic, eating pretty much anything it can catch, including insects, smaller fish, frogs, shrimp, crayfish, crabs, salamanders, and more. When a bowfin fish identifies its target, it lunges forward and quickly opens its jaws, creating a suction mechanism and pulling its prey into its mouth like a spaghetti noodle. Here, one is swallowing an eelfish whole by sucking it in slowly. The eelfish doesn't even know what's happening. Is it just me, or does this look really disturbing and gross? The somewhat prehistoric-looking creature has a long cylindrical body typically weighing around 20 pounds and measuring between 17 and 24 inches, although sometimes they are known to grow up to 43 inches long. The species dwells along the bottoms of lakes, rivers, streams, ponds, swamps, wetlands, and pretty much any freshwater habitat with thick vegetation. Bowfin fish are found across a vast range, including much of the eastern U.S. and into parts of Canada. If you see one, keep an eye out. Number 9. Guianan Cock of the Rock With a vibrant orange coat of feathers, the Guianan Cock of the Rock is undeniably a beautiful bird, but it's also rather bizarre looking, with a half-moon-shaped crest of feathers on top of its head. This species dwells in tropical rainforests throughout South America, and while the males really stand out, the females are more gray in order to camouflage themselves when they are sitting on nests. Males are orange all over, with an orange bill, legs, and even skin. These birds love to eat fruit and berries that they will grab while flying, although some have been spotted eating other things, including insects and small snakes. Males will spend most of the time hanging out in groups of 40 to 50 males called a lek, the Dallas World Aquarium reports that they will compete with each other in dance battles, and that females like males that are more in the center of the lek, since they are the more dominant and apparently the best dancers. The Guianan Cock of the Rock is so named because it mates on boulders and in rocky caves. Interestingly, around 40% of males are thought to prefer male sexual partners, and many never mate with females at all. These birds are extremely loud with all kinds of screeching, snapping, and popping noises that they make with their beak. Good news for this bird, unlike some of the other species on today's list, its population is stable, earning it a classification of least concern on the International Union for Conservation of Nature Red List. Number 8. The Zonkey Some of the most bizarre animals are also very cute. Take for example zebra-donkey hybrids called zonkeys, and yes, they actually exist. Earlier this year, the Sheldrake Wildlife Trust, a nonprofit rescue group dedicated to preserving Africa's wildlife and habitats, released a statement announcing the birth of a zonkey in Kenya. The odd-looking, faintly striped foal was found alongside its mother in Chayulu Hills National Park. Last year, the mama zebra had wandered into a residential community and apparently began hanging out with some livestock. The Sheldrake Wildlife Trust relocated her to the park before she gave birth. When wildlife workers noticed the peculiar pair, they quickly realized that during her time away from the park, the mother zebra had mated with a donkey. While it should otherwise lead a normal life, zonkeys are mules, meaning that it will be unable to successfully breed once it reaches maturity, the organization's statement reads. Both mom and baby are doing well, according to the most recent update, which added that they would likely eventually join a group of zebras. In the words of the Sheldrick Wildlife Trust, until that day comes, they seem quite content to spend their days grazing side by side, a sight that makes us all stop and marvel at the wonders of nature. Number 7. Shoebill Stork Shoebills are carnivorous birds who inhabit East Africa's swamps and marshlands and who boast an alarmingly ancient and demonic-looking appearance. They look very intimidating, but they are quite rare. The species, which is classified into a family of its own, looks like it's ready to attack at any moment and has a massive, clog-shaped bill which measures up to a foot long and five inches wide, according to National Geographic. The bird itself grows up to five feet tall, with a wingspan measuring as much as eight feet. Shoebills use their specialized bills to snatch large prey, such as fish, 
eels, snakes, and even Nile monitor lizards and baby crocodiles. They are ambush predators, meaning they hunt by remaining motionless, sometimes for hours, while waiting for an opportune meal to come along. Once it comes, the shoebill falls or lunges toward its prey, a hunting technique known as collapsing. When it snaps its bill shut, it will swing its bill back and forth, letting all the water and mud and debris spill out until just its prey is left inside. At the end, it will quickly decapitate whatever it caught and then swallow the rest whole. The species' strangest trait, according to the National Audubon Society, is its method of cooling itself. To keep from overheating, shoebills defecate on their legs on purpose. Warm blood flowing through the bird's legs evaporates the liquid waste, cooling down in the process. Number 6. Hammerhead Worm A Midlothian, Virginia resident recently contacted the state's Wildlife Management and Control Agency for help identifying a large, snake-like creature. But it wasn't a snake. It had a half-moon-shaped head. As it turns out, the 10 to 12-inch long specimen is a member of an invasive species of large worm originating from Southeast Asia called a hammerhead worm. These hermaphroditic terrestrial flatworms are difficult to kill due to their regeneration capabilities. If a hammerhead flatworm is cut, it can regrow whatever it lost and become a complete specimen again. According to Live Science, hacked off pieces constituting just 1 300th of a worm have regenerated successfully. In fact, this is essentially how hammerhead worms reproduce, by snipping off a part of their body and cloning themselves. Hammerhead worms hunt by trapping their prey with a sticky, toxic substance and injecting them with digestive enzymes, which more or less liquefy the creature's insides. The worm then sucks up the juices. Typical prey include soil-dwelling species such as earthworms, slugs, roundworms, and insect larvae. It's thought that hammerhead worms hitched a ride to the U.S. courtesy of the horticultural trade. They have been spotted in greenhouses as far north as Maine, according to the Texas Invasive Species Institute, and have turned up in Florida and North Carolina as well. The species also made headlines two years ago after French scientists realized that it had been in the country for 20 years. Citizens had reported the creepy crawlers on many occasions, only for their stories to fly under the radar, with the worm sometimes being misidentified, or because a witness's story was overlooked completely. Finally, in 2018, a team of researchers analyzed these accounts and determined that there are five species of hammerhead worms in France, two of which are unidentified. Number 5. Saw Sharks There are eight species of saw sharks, not to be confused with sawfish, that are found most often in the Indian Ocean and the Southern Pacific Ocean. These incredibly rare and unique creatures are known for their saw-like snouts, hence the name. These snouts are equipped with razor-sharp teeth that are used for slashing and shredding prey, cutting it up into bite-sized pieces. These sharks are pretty bizarre, especially if you look at them from underneath. Recently, scientists discovered two new species of six-gilled saw shark. Informally known as Kajas and Anna's six-gilled saw sharks, they were found off the coast of Madagascar and Zanzibar. Saw sharks, which generally grow no more than five feet long, live at varying depths but scientists know relatively little about them and are striving to learn more in an attempt to protect them. Dr. Simon Wagman said that the six gill saw sharks are really quite extraordinary as most saw sharks have five gill slits per side. He and his team said that the find was simply astonishing. Scientists discovered the two new species while researching small scale fisheries in the region and their findings led them to theorize that these saw sharks are vulnerable to overfishing. Consequently, experts are increasingly advocating for expanded efforts to identify and protect threatened species that the world may not even know about. Number 4. Ancole Watusi Cattle generally aren't very exciting to most people, but the Ancole Watusi is nearly impossible not to notice. It derives from the Ancole breed of the indigenous Senga cattle of Central Africa, an ancient bovine family that originated 2,000 years ago. And while the Ancole Watusi is considered medium-sized, with bulls weighing between 1,000 and 1,600 pounds on average, its horns are unnaturally huge. The Guinness World Record for the largest ever horn circumference on a bull belongs to an Ancole Watusi bull named C.T. Woody, whose horns measured 40.75 inches in 2004. The longest horns that are skinnier go to Pancho Villa, a Texas longhorn. The Ancole Watusi was originally imported to the United States from Europe during the 1920s and 30s. 
An American version of the breed was created during the 1960s by crossbreeding an Ancole Watusi cow with a Canadian bull, and an official breed standard was established in 1989. Last year, Texas couple Vincent Browning and Shelley Lumpkin decided to put Petco's promise that all leashed pets are welcome inside the store to the test. On the way back from an event, they brought Browning's 15-year-old Ancole Watusi bull named Oliver into their neighborhood pet store. Employees welcomed the 1,600-pound giant with open arms. His horns measure nine and a half feet from tip to tip. Oliver had to tilt his head to fit through the sliding double doors and into the store, where excited employees waited to greet him. Video footage and pictures from the visit went viral on social media, even capturing the attention of Petco chief executive Ron Coughlin, who admitted that he was slightly jealous of everyone who got to meet Oliver, and that he wished he could have been there. Number 3. Upathi's Purple Frog in August 2017, scientists announced the discovery of a new frog species called the Bupathi's purple frog in India's Western Ghats. This place is a biodiversity hotspot, which the team found as part of the government's mission to identify every frog and toad species throughout the country. And while the thought of a purple-colored frog may seem visually pleasing, these creatures are actually grayish in color, round, and have a pig's nose. Cuteness is in the eye of the beholder. They look pretty different to other frogs, but looks aside, this homely and seemingly inconsequential creature is impressive in its own right. This frog has numerous unique evolutionary traits, including small eyes, a long snout, and short limbs. It has adapted perfectly to spend nearly its entire life underground. It even eats underground, using its fluted tongue to ingest termites and ants, like an anteater. They evolved separately from the frogs that we are more familiar with, so they have very different traits. Elizabeth Prendini, a herpetologist at the American Museum of Natural History, says this frog lineage is very ancient and has a very low diversity, so this finding is very special and unusual. The newly described species is the second purple frog and member of the Nasica batracus genus ever discovered. It's related to the Indian purple frog, which was discovered in the region in 2003. There is a lot we don't know about frogs, and over 100 new species are described in scientific journals every year, with many more waiting to be confirmed. Number 2. The Portuguese man -o war The Portuguese man -o war is not a singular, bizarre creature. It's an entire community of them. It's sometimes mistaken for a jellyfish, but is actually a jellyfish relative called a siphonophore, which is a complex colony of individual organisms that work together to survive. Manowars dwell in warm waters throughout the world's oceans and are often found in groups numbering 1,000 or more. They do not actively swim, but instead float and drift along currents and wherever the wind takes them. Their voluntary movement is more or less limited to deflating their airbags and rising to the surface to avoid predators. Also known as blue bottles, these carnivorous formations are made up of four polyps, which merge early in life because they cannot survive on their own. The uppermost polyp is a gas-filled bladder called a pneumatophore. Its bluish-purple hue is what gives man-o-wars their nickname. The man-o-war also has tentacles, which are known to measure up to 165 feet long, but are usually around 30 feet long. They are covered in venom-filled nematocysts, which paralyze and kill their prey. These creatures have an extremely painful sting and can even sting you when they are lying on the beach, so be careful to avoid them and don't pick it up. Thankfully, their stings are almost never fatal to humans, but you can get welts, muscle cramps, vomiting, and an increased heart rate. Number 1. The Sturtlefish In an experiment gone wrong, scientists in Hungary unintentionally crossbred two ancient, endangered, and wildly different-looking fish species from entirely different families, resulting in a beyond bizarre, unnatural hybrid dubbed the Sturtlefish. The accidental creation, detailed in a study in the journal Genes, happened when the researchers placed the sperm of an American paddlefish next to the eggs of a Russian sturgeon, hoping to stimulate the eggs to reproduce asexually without introducing new DNA in a process called gynogenesis. To their surprise, however, the DNA from the sperm transferred to the eggs, and the sturtlefish happened. Some of the creatures, which contained more maternal DNA, looked more like sturgeons than paddlefish, while the others, which possess equal portions of DNA from both parents, look like an equal mix of the two species. Mishaps like this bring up obvious questions regarding the ethics of experimenting with animal DNA. 
We never wanted to play around with hybridization, scientist Attila Mozart, who participated in the research, told the New York Times. The offspring are sterile, which is common among hybrid animals, and they will therefore not reproduce. This is likely for the best, since the American paddlefish and Russian sturgeon were never meant to cross paths in the first place. Scientists are caring for the accidentally crafted creatures, but have no plans to ever make more of them. Thanks for watching! Which animal was your favorite? If you'd like to learn about rare or bizarre animals, let me know in the comments below. And while you're at it, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time!